Hi, this is Amy from the Alt-E store. We're very excited to show you the Alt-E Kilovolt Solar Lithium Battery. It's designed specifically for residential renewable energy use. The 12 volt batteries are able to be wired in series for 12 to 48 volt systems. They can be a drop-in replacement for flooded or sealed lead acid batteries with no specialized charger needed. The 12 volt batteries are currently available in two sizes, 1800 watt hours and 3600 watt hours. The HLX 1800 has a capacity rated at 1800 watt hours or 12 volt 150 amp hours. Its physical size is 19.1 inches by 6.7 by 9.4 inches and weighs a mere 45.2 pounds. That's a little smaller than the size of a lead acid 4D battery, but 84 pounds lighter. It doesn't even need to ship by truck. It can ship by regular UPS or FedEx, saving a lot in shipping charges. The HLX 3600 has a capacity rated at 3600 watt hours or 12 volts 300 amp hours. It's 20 and a half inches by 10.6 by 8.7 and weighs in at 84.2 pounds. That's a similar size to an 8D lead acid battery, but almost half the weight. This one does have to ship by truck, but the reduced weight still cuts down your shipping charge for your battery bank. Either of these batteries can be wired in strings up to four in series with up to four parallel strings for a total of 16 batteries in the battery bank. That's a total of 28.8 kilowatt hours for the HLX 1800 and 57.6 kilowatt hours for the HLX 3600. But you don't want to mix the two size batteries in the same bank. Keep like with like. The batteries can be discharged down to 100% depth of discharge without damaging them giving you that full amount as usable capacity. At a monthly level, that gives you a maximum of 864 kilowatt hours for a full bank of HLX 1800s and over 1.7 megawatt hours per month for a full bank of HLX 3600s. However, for maximum cycle life, we recommend designing your kilovolt system for 80% depth of discharge. That provides a maximum of 23 kilowatt hours for the HLX 1800 or 46 kilowatt hours for the HLX 3600 per day of available energy for 5,000 cycles where you charge and discharge the battery. At a monthly level, that would be 691 kilowatt hours for the HLX 1800 and 1.38 megawatt hours for the HLX 3600. If you cycle the batteries every day, that's over 13 years. And even after the 5,000 cycles, 80% of the original capacity still remains. So you can still use the battery bank. It's just going to have a little smaller storage capacity. So what is so special about these kilovolt batteries? For one thing, they're tough. We've tested and developed them to work with the heaviest duty inverter chargers we offer at Alti, like Schneider, Outback, and Magnum. They can handle the high current charges and discharges that are demanded from a large inverter. A 7,000 watt inverter can draw as much as 150 amps from a 48 volt battery bank. A single string of the kilovolt 1800 batteries can supply that current. And we're not talking about just for a brief moment. That is a constant draw of 150 amps. If you have a string of four HLX 3600 batteries, they can even sustain up to 200 amps for 30 minutes before they need to be brought back down to 150 amps. Run at 150 amps, the HLX 3600 batteries would go six and a half hours full tilt at seven kilowatts until the battery is at 80% depth of discharge. But what about surge, you may ask? I'm glad you asked. The batteries can handle a 500 amp surge or 24 kilowatts in a 48 volt configuration for three seconds. That's plenty to start up your most demanding air conditioner, pump, or motor. Each battery has its own battery management system, or BMS, ensuring safe, healthy operation. It will protect itself from unsafe conditions like overcharging or discharging down to the cell level, short circuiting, overcurrent draw, self-discharge, and charging or discharging when the temperature is too hot. 
We recommend an operating range between 32 and 113 degrees Fahrenheit. That's 0 to 46 degrees Celsius. The batteries should, however, never be used in below freezing conditions. And speaking of safety, the kilovolt batteries are lithium iron phosphate, or LIFEPO4. This means you don't have to worry about thermal runaway or fire dangers of other lithium technologies like lithium cobalt. They also don't outgas like flooded lead acid batteries do, so you can safely keep them inside your home with no vents and no worries. Okay. So let's talk about the elephant in the room, the cost. Yes, the kilovolt batteries cost more than good old fashioned lead acid batteries do. But let me explain why they're a great deal. Look at this graph showing the cycles of an AGM lead acid battery. At 50% depth of discharge, we only get 500 cycles. But if we use 25% daily depth of discharge, that means only using one quarter of the full capacity, we can bring that up to 1200 cycles. Just so we can compare batteries with the same physical sizes, I'm going to use a 4D, 200 amp hour, 12 volt AGM battery as an example. That's 2,400 watt hours for $560. Using 25% of a 2,400 watt hour battery gives us 600 watt hours of usable energy. Using 80% depth of discharge for the kilovolt HLX 1800 lithium battery gives us 1,440 watt hours of usable energy. So we would need 2.4 of the lead batteries to equal the usable capacity of the $1,300 kilovolt battery. $590 times 2.4 equals $1,416 for 1,440 watt hours of usable AGM energy. Hmm. So right up front, the kilovolt is less expensive than the AGM battery. Especially since this isn't realistic, you can't have 0.4 battery, you'd have to go up to three batteries for $1,770. But wait, there's more. This is where cycle count really comes into play. As we said, at 25% depth of discharge, the lead acid batteries are rated for 1,200 cycles. At 80% depth of discharge, the kilovolt lithium batteries are rated for 5,000 cycles. 5,000 divided by 1,200 equals 4.1. So the AGM batteries would have to be replaced four times during the life of the kilovolt batteries. That's four times the cost of the AGM. 1,770 times four equals $7,080 of AGM batteries over the life of one $1,300 for the kilovolt. That's a real savings. But wait, there's even more. Most lead acid batteries are only 84 to 89 percent efficient at discharging the energy put into them. That means you're losing a significant portion of your valuable renewable energy just to the inefficiencies of the battery itself. The kilovolt, on the other hand, is 95 percent efficient in giving you back the energy you put into charging it. If you had a 3,000 watt solar panel array, that'd be like getting an extra 300 watt solar panel added to your system by switching from the lead acid to the kilovolt for your batteries. Most lead acid batteries only have a one or two year warranty. The kilovolt battery has a three year warranty against defects in material or workmanship. So you can be confident with your investment. I hope this was helpful. If so, give us a like and a share and be sure to subscribe to our Alti Store channel. And don't forget to go to our website at altistore.com where we've been making renewable doable since 1999. Hi, this is Amy from the Alti store. And this is Elsie, the solar puppy. We're, <laughs> we're very excited to show you the Alti Kilovolt Solar Lithium Battery. It's specifically designed for residential renewable energy use.